Dividing. Just got to look at the poor cylinder in the head. Any news, sorry. So, as you can see, as a kid, I really had a big dream, and I was actually to become a really famous musician. Um, but I had quite a hard time to figure out what instruments to play, and also to actually practice to play, because it's just not fun practicing to become a really good musician. So at about the age of 18, this is again me, by the way, um, I really had to get to come to the conclusion that I wasn't really born to be a good musician, but rather maybe a scientist or a technician. So therefore, I decided to start building robots. And I was actually pretty lucky that I was uh, uh, running into a couple of friends, uh, of which a few are depicted here, that also had sort of the same problem as I had. So really liking music and wanting to play music, but better at just being a scientist than being a technician or how to call it. So um, we uh, settled at the high tech campus in, the, in Eindhoven and we started making robots that play musical instruments. So this is our first robot, which is playing the guitar. What we actually did to, uh, to create it, we started by uh, asking uh, professional musicians of how they do it. And actually we came to the conclusion that they actually don't know how, to, uh, how they are playing their own music, uh, musical instruments. Um, so, so if you ask really technical questions, you get answers like, well, it's sort of a feeling that you hit <laughs> like this. And so we sort of said, okay, let's, let's not mention that not be aware too much of the human capabilities and decide for ourselves how to play the guitar. So we actually uh, decided let's just take 72 fingers then instead of the 10 fingers the human has because that's actually much easier to play. Plus with this instrument we are then capable of playing a lot of more things that the human are, uh, humans are uh, capable of playing. So we can actually play chords which are human not, are not able to play with. So, um, but you need a lot of air, as you might have seen from all these fingers, which needs to be activated. So actually, it took some diving cylinders, and if you play with the instruments, it's just sort of a, a funny side note. We uh, always take about uh, 15,000 liters of air to play for one day. So it's an uh, interesting one. So after about a year, we uh, finished the guitar, and we were up for the next challenge. So we decided to play, uh, to make a drum robot. And this is it. Again, a lot of hands, so you see a lot of sticks uh, distributed over the, over the drums. And also here, our challenge was to get beyond the human capabilities of playing the, uh, playing the instrument. So for instance, if you have the, the, the snare drum here, uh, we were actually able to play with one stick, with one uh, drumstick, uh, a really fast ruffle. And if you look at the human playing, it always needs two sticks, for instance, to do it really fast. So again, we, we, we were uh, able to to get to that point. And then we decided we wanted to have something that plays the melody in the band. So we decided for the band flute, as we thought this is quite an easy instrument to do. Um, which was not true, because the, the seemingly simple instrument is really, really difficult to play. Especially because if you look at all the, all the uh, tubes here, they are exactly tuned to play whole tones. But you also need to, to play the semi or the half tone, which is a very difficult technique which you need to use to, in order to do that. So this was a, a sort of a, becoming a nightmare for us. And it took us about two years to build this robot, so not one year for the other. As you might have expected, we needed a bass line in the band as well. So we started about one year ago, I guess, to, uh, to design and we took the, the double bass because it, it's, the span flute that we uh, worked with was a really tiny instrument and we wanted something, just something bigger, which thought it would be easier. So we are now, this is sort of the state where we're in, so we're still uh, building and we hope to have this instrument finished in about uh, two months, uh, hopefully just before uh, uh, I get married actually, so, which is a nice part for me when the robot will be playing up there. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the band that we created right now, so it's still without uh, the double bass. And we are now performing at quite some, uh, some various podia. Um, so actually around the world as well, in Europe still, um, and um, also this is an interesting picture which you see what the real advantage is if you have robots playing for it. Because you can actually, so you can sit in the, in the audience, you can have your beer in there and your own band is actually playing for it. So, <laughs> so um, what is also very nice is to uh, play together with others. Uh, we played with various bands together, this was uh, with a big band. We actually had really big 
troubles to try to sing with the guitar because the guitar was just going ahead and they had to follow, but they weren't really able to follow. Um, which was actually the main reason our next instrument was the drums, because we really wanted to replace this drummer such that we are controlling the, the rhythm of the whole show. This was in Paradiso, which was a really cool experience to play at such a, such a big podium, big stage. Although, what we did uh, discover with all these uh, performances is that although you can uh, make really good music, you still need to act, you need to communicate with, uh, with, uh, with uh, the audience. So therefore we decided to uh, start building a puppet, which is about this height. And uh, we are now capable of uh, moving the ears, the eyes, the mouth, the, the neck, working on the arms. So this is the puppet that we dance with the, uh, with the other robots. So this is our gig list. And uh, take notice of the ones in red, which are actually three gigs in May. And the 22nd in May we are playing at the Market Square here in Eindhoven. So if you want to see us, if you want to see a live performance, please come there. It's about, uh, it starts I guess half of the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> or you might visit us at uh, teamdare.nl a lot of movies and hopefully our uh, dream will definitely come true uh, in which I hope to see you all at Lowlands 2015. <laughs>